presented by Chili's. I am Taylor McGregor. For the better part of a decade, the Houston Astros have been serious World Series contenders, which is why their slow start this season sent shockwaves through the Space City. After having their worst start in more than 50 years, Astro fans will be very happy to hear that Houston, we have figured out the problem. Through May this season, their starting rotation ERA was ranked 26th in baseball. But since the start of June, the group has posted a 3.32 ERA, good for second lowest in all of baseball. And this month, this team has posted the best record in the majors. So starting pitching wins. With a quality continue in July, let's find out. It's Astros 7-8 ERA in the month of April, calling into question his fit to the Astros rotation. However, since the start of May, his 1.99 ERA is the second lowest among American League pitchers with 50 plus innings pitched. Well, there you have it. Pat Murphy's secret is out as him and his crew have been brewing up some offense. As of late, they've even earned a Michelin star thanks to their new Grand Slam recipe. On Sunday, Bryce Terang hit Milwaukee's fifth Grand Slam in eight games, and the Brewers became just the second team in Major League Baseball to achieve the feat. So, orders up. <laughs> Compliments of Chef Burf. Let's see if the crew can continue to cook in Colorado. Look, every year, the draft is an unforgettable event for prospects around the country looking to make the transition from amateur ball to start their professional careers, a journey they have dreamt of for their entire lives. And this year's draft should be especially memorable for Wake Forest, as the Demon Deacons are poised to match and possibly even surpass the record for the most first-round picks selected by one school in a single year. The record is three. When your name is listed in a trade with a superstar like Juan Soto, the expectations start high. So far, James Wood has answered the bell this season, slugging 595 in AAA and earning a call to the show. His debut begins a new chapter in Nats Nation, so let's press play and see how his story begins. It's Mets and Nash. Coming up, the MLB draft is under two weeks away, and a trio of prospects from Wake Forest University are looking to make history. We will explain next. Sixth time in his career, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is the AL Player of the Week. Vladdy hit 500 with four homers and 17 RBIs in six games last week. It has to be the haircut. And then in the National League, it was Jonathan India who won Player of the Week for the first time in his career, thanks in part to a 538 batting average. And India led the majors in batting average, hits, doubles, and extra base hits in seven games last week. And then from MLB's X account, they said thanks to the best fans in the world. This June marked MLB's highest average June attendance since 2014. James Wood's first big league hit had an average exit velocity of 106.7 miles per hour, keeping up with the status quo from what he did in the minor leagues. Among hitters at AAA and in the majors this season, only Aaron Judge, Shohei Otani, and O'Neill Cruz have a higher average exit velo in 2024. Go. One of the wildest games in baseball history took place. We will relive an instant classic between the Yankees and the Red Sox. That's coming up next. Six runs off Hunter Harvey and friends. That is tied for a franchise record for most runs scored in a single extra inning frame after also doing it in June of 1979 and August of 2001. That was the height of the Yankees and Red Sox rivalry as they played 13 intense innings 20 years ago Monday in the Bronx. And there was a little bit of everything. Loads of Hall of Famers. Derek Jeter making a diving catch into the stands. Manny Ramirez had two home runs and then it was Yanks backup catcher Jack Flaherty who hit the walk-off in the 13th. And then don't forget, even our own Kevin Millar was there. He didn't go over six though, but no one's talking about that. Sorry, Kev. <laughs> Welcome back to Quick Pitch. Recently, our own Lauren Gardner sat down with Anthony Rizzo to discuss his cancer journey. Let's take a look at their moving conversation. It's Canada Day, a nationwide celebration of the anniversary of Canada's independence. And the Blue Jays honored the holiday before their first pitch on Monday. But nobody in the state celebrated harder than our resident Canadian, Adnan Berg, from right here in the MLB Network studios. What a suit. That would definitely play in the sixth. So happy birthday, Canada. I am Taylor McGregor. Thanks so much for watching. For 